Michael, appreciate it. Now to the uh, world's tallest freestanding structure. You know the one I'm talking about. It's coming up short, apparently, on a new list of world wonders. Toronto's most popular tourist attraction, the CN Tower, has been given the brush off in a campaign to rewrite the seven ancient wonders of the world. Global's Laura Zilke has reaction tonight. I'm not happy with that decision. <laughs> not happy. Rob DeLuca is taking it personally. He's enraged that the CN Tower will not be making a list of the new seven wonders of the world. We must change this decision. Bring the CN Tower back on, please. Rob may be the tower's biggest fan. His grandfather actually built him a 12-foot cement replica that he proudly displays on the front lawn. As a kid, I used to love going downtown. And when I did, it was always a CN Tower. I always begged my parents to bring me up there, and I just loved it. Just, I don't know, I grew up with it, and I loved it. But the Swiss, it seems, forgot all about the tower in an online survey in which they asked 20 million around the world to vote on which structures ought to be named one of the seven wonders of the modern world. The winner will be announced January 1st next year. The old seven wonders were declared by a single man 2,200 years ago in Athens, Greece. And uh, none of them, uh, except one, of course, the, the pyramids, are still there to be visited. Why not the CN Tower? Well, apparently, according to list makers, there's only enough room for one Tower of Wonders on that list. That being the Eiffel Tower instead. They wanted also to respect the diversity of the different methods of construction and buildings. Other than the Eiffel Tower, and not the CN Tower, some of the landmarks making the top 21, the Acropolis in Athens, the Great Wall of China, the Kaiomizu Temple in Japan, the Kremlin, Petra in Jordan, the Statue of Liberty, Stonehenge, and the Sydney Opera House. Whatever they pick, they will have a hard time selling it to Rob DeLuca. I don't like that. What's the new wonder? Wherever you go, you look in the sky, 90% of the time you see the CN Tower. It's always there. This is Global's Laura Zilke reporting. There's a song in that. Well, this uh, is no tall tale tonight. The Toronto Raptors are on a roll.